to uh, another episode of Nerd, Nerd Out. Out. I guess it's sort of an emergency episode because we just did an episode, so I guess it's sort of an emergency. Yeah. Uh, I got the G.I. Joes. After, uh, just to catch you up, like, I saw someone on eBay that had a good price on them, and he said, in stock now, and I flipped out, and I pushed the button, and then I emailed the guy, and he's like, hey, you said you had them in stock. Do you really have them in stock? And, of course, he said yes, and, and I, I went, uh, I did the whole, like, freak out and mm-hmm. like watch the tracking number and it lo and happens. behold they, they showed up they showed up on time more uh, or less? no all right a day late but that's look, fine that's basically on time yeah, what's, uh, what's going on now a day i can, look things are tough i can wait a day no for my gi joes but it, you know another day would have gone by and i would have started you know i would have been in the yeah, post office yeah. freaking out but uh they came and it was exciting and i had to decide how i was going to open them uh i i decided uh, I'll just be honest. Duke was my favorite. It's the one I'm looking forward to. Yeah, but did you to. open Duke first or take my advice? I took your advice. Okay, that, for last. Did did that work out well? It or? worked out very well, but there's a story to it. Okay. Actually, actually, I I, I I take that back. It worked out very unwell because mm-hmm. Duke took uh took a uh, what is the expression out of your sale? The wind out of my sail. Yeah, and I'll tell you why. It wasn't because he sucked. It's because I opened him up and didn't realize when I when I looked at him in the package that his pistol was missing then you owe me because if you would have done that first it would have messed up you think so it would have tainted three other figures see i i think the opposite i think by the time i got you might be right actually i don't know man but but you i dwell I, on it yeah but it was so disappointing because i thought maybe you know like you open a figure and you, you like know i was sitting around in there yeah it could have been floating yeah. around it could have fell on the ground and bounced anywhere because i've had i've had accessories fall on the ground and bounce into areas that i just didn't think was humanly possible and uh i thought maybe that happened but then i went back and looked at my video and my pictures i took of the duke yeah. uh in the package and there it is like not in the package so i'm not gonna lie i got a little frustrated at the moment and i was like you know screw this and then i started like you know getting upset and then i was able to calm down and just realize that look i know i'm gonna have to buy another duke because i'm gonna look everyone was like i i posted it on instagram everyone's like you know you can find pistols to replace it and i get that everyone I, yeah I, but not the pistol yeah i have i think it's i would you call it ocd it's just sort of like I, you know whatever you want to call it I, I, I'm a purist. Like, I need my figures, and everyone collects differently. I need my figures to have the weapons that they came with. Like, I get it, man. Yeah, do you? I get it. All right, and, and again, like, I get it. I like, get parts. I mean, it's just, yeah, I have lost parts, man. Really. Like, I lost the, I lost the ramp to the shuttle Tidarium mm. the day I got it. Oh, uh, the big shuttle Tidarium? Yeah. Were you a kid, or? Yeah, I was a kid. Oh, and man. it was, like, heartbreaking. Like, I sort of swear it wasn't in the box. But, like, I don't remember. Yeah, like, yeah, it's been a long time. I mean, I was like that as a kid, too. Like, I mean, I was one of those kids that, like, didn't want to lose my G.I. Joe weapons. And, like, I get it. Like, it can take the fun out of something. Because I do think that collecting toys and being able to accessorize them and paint them mm. and do what you want is super fun. It's just that, like, I can't collect that way. It's just, I, I can't do that it's just not how i do it now i can well, buy you another at least duke. have to have a proper sample yes with the yeah i mean i get i it. can buy I another it. duke and i can take one of the dukes and do that mm-hmm. but yeah. i have to have at least one duke with the accessories that it came with again you can criticize it could be an ocd thing i don't know it's just how i collect uh it, it's probably anal retentive and i'm sure there's so many you can i think study. a lot of people yeah. would lose their i lost my shit over it yeah so eventually i'm gonna buy another duke for that pistol or Maybe I can call Hasbro, but their customer service is kind of shitey. Uh, I don't think they're going to send me a pistol. Anyways, I got over it. You were right. So I decided to open Destro first right. because he's a good start. And then get to Duke, who was the one I was looking most forward to. And then I went I went, I went Destro. Uh, I think I went Destro, Roadblock, Scarlet Duke. Destro right. I was looking forward to. Roadblock I was least looking forward to, and mm. you know, and then Scarlet was okay, and then Duke was the grand finale. Uh, and I'll say, like, I love them all. Okay. Uh, I think Destro's my least favorite. And maybe not least favorite, but we'll get into what, it. And Duke is your favorite? Duke is 100% my favorite. Yeah, you're crazy. Dude, I have yeah, to check, say. Check, check out that Duke. Play with him. I'm liking Scarlet. All right. Like, yeah, a I lot. You know I like this is a sweet figure, and I wasn't a fan of this when I first saw pictures of it. But... You know what's so great about that Scarlet? That face... And, and all these, they mm. look like someone you could meet Sort of real. Yeah, it looks yeah. sort of real. Like, they gave her these freckles. They gave her distinct features. 
And one of the great things I loved about G.I. Joe as a kid is that they actually designed the heads off people, I think, in the office. So mm -hmm. G.I. Joes had real features. Like there was, you know, some of the characters had slightly bigger noses, you know, higher, lower cheekbones, like distinctive features. And these have those distinctive features. And I love it. Um, starting at Scarlet, since you picked Scarlet. Yeah. Uh, uh, the articulation is a little limited compared to some of the other ones, but... I think she's got a nice rump. Is that okay? To, I, yeah, I just got some nice yeah. ass. I was looking. I checked it out. Yeah. I think she's great. I, yeah. I think it's great. Uh, do you, like what? Duke is. Why do you like Destro so little? I don't. Okay, I don't like, like him so little. What is so good about the Green Army Man? Right. I don't get it. Like, you know okay, why? I'm Duke the Army Man. All right, first of all, I'm just joking. I I, 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 did, I don't dislike Destro. Yeah. First of all, I think the Destro's excellent. I think he's the most superhero looking. And I like. I'll I mean, honest, a m metal chrome head can do that. Right, right. <laughs> but I do like. I do like oh, my GI Joe um, to be a little bit more. Um, I, I don't. I like the. I like the super natural or super extraordinary. It's just that I like some military in there, and uh, he's got like the super tight like spandexy outfit. He looks great, by the way. Yeah. Um, the paint job is excellent. I do wish he had a chrome head. Yeah, I don't know because what they were thinking with that. This was the second Destro, and they de-chromed his head. Mm -hmm. And there's something special about that real shiny chrome. Uh, with that said, Destro's excellent. It was, like, very exciting to open them. Um, I did have some joints that I had to run under hot water. And uh, I did, again, like, G.I. Joe is, is a big deal to me. And this is a big deal to me. So it was like... I was really terrified that I was going to break one and it was going to ruin the experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, thankfully, I was able to loosen up the joints. But there are, like, like Snake Eyes, for example, there's, like, one of those, like, uh, leg joints that you twist. And it was, like, I knew I was going to, if I didn't run it under hot water, I was going to twist it off. And it was going to be a sad day. Um, we got to do a head swap. Oh. Oh, do it. I did it. Oh, you did it? Yeah, I did, but I'm go for it. I'm not pulling your heads off. No, no, I'll do it. I'll yeah, do it. Yeah, you gotta do it. Can we save Snake Eyes for a Yeah, 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 Just yeah. Just because I think Snake Eyes is a big deal. Um, but I do love this Destro. Um, there, I do want to mention this little, like, missile thing. I love how we have to reach over. It, mine wasn't glued in, and it falls off really easily. And it's kind of terrifying, well, so wait, I just took is it, it off. the whole thing or just one of them? Just the Boba well, Fett rocket. The, the Boba Fett rocket is so much. I just I just wanted to make a note of that. Like, be careful. He comes with cool weapons. Uh, they're futuristic, but I think Destro's okay. What's to his come gun? With. That's his gun. Oh, uh, he's got that one. Yeah. What, what's it's, Duke's gun? Uh, Duke's. Well, I only have one of them. Uh, oh, sorry. Is that it? Yeah, it's not bad. This isn't bad. It's not bad. Um, he's got this little gold thing too. I like uh, I like Destro's little money money case. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah. a computer and money yeah. case. He's have a laptop. He's a businessman. Yeah, it kind of is reminiscent of his open backpack. Uh, uh. Um, the articulation's amazing. Like they really upped the game. They really did. Like they're fun. Like I don't. Yeah, I mean, like these aren't Marvel selects, and they're not black figures. They're its own format, almost. They're a step right? above Marvel Legends. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I don't think we ever mentioned it when we did that. The... I said Marvel Select. Yeah, Marvel Select. Select. Yeah, it's definitely. That's we didn't Marvel mention Select. it in our Snake Eyes review, but did you know that these hip joints go pull down so you can give it more movement? It's pretty cool. It is cool. But I think I had them posed wrong, like, some of the time because I didn't realize that he was doing that. Um, these... Uh, I, I, I'm not one of those, like... Um, uh, action figure photographers where I want to pose them and then, you know, take photos. I, I, I'm i very neutral, but with these G.I. Joes, you I had so much it, fun, man. dude. It was so much fun. Like, I couldn't stop. Like, I think I did it for, like, a, a couple hours of playing. And when, you, when you're playing with your toys for a couple hours, you know you're getting your money's worth. I mean... Yeah, these are so, like, sort of poseable. Yeah, man. dude. Um, dude, Duke is my favorite. I need Destro to hand them. This is Destro? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Duke, Duke has this, like, they, they nailed his head, man. I, I, I don't know. They just, they just got it right. Mm. It's, 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 it's that chiseled, like, chiseled, good looking, like, white man look, but like, it looks good. Like, they, they even like, gave him like a buzz haircut and like, did all the paint and, Duke. Mm. Headley. 
we the double the double neck joint articulation is pretty cool like how there's like two hinges at the neck and at the head all right do you see that just on him no on all of them this guy does not oh yeah he doesn't have it because he's got that like grown. yeah i just want to double check that i'm not calling the police all right yeah. Oh, yeah, these are. I'm like yeah. being quiet because I'm just playing. Yeah, play away. Uh, I'll talk. Uh, Roadblock is my surprise. Uh, like, uh, I was definitely looking forward to Roadblock the least. Yeah. Um. Do you this think is, that they should have made the first Roadblock style? Because this is the version two. Uh, I don't know. I mean, do you think the reason why they they held off was because? Uh, Roadblock's become this because he was played by The Rock. I'm yeah. guessing uh, they're it's they're become his own thing. So yeah, like they're gonna make like five Roadblocks. Like they're treating Roadblock like Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Duke, Cobra Commander. And I don't think I love Roadblock, but I don't think that he's that kind of character. Yeah, it, it's not GI Roadblock. No, you know, it's not. It's like he's he's he was cool, a, but he was a, a supporting character. I I fact, agree in the cartoon and everything. I agree. I don't think he's. I don't think he's a Snake Eyes level character. I don't think he mm -hmm. ever. I don't think he ever could be. Um, but Roadblock was cool, and uh, I think this figure is actually a lot better than I originally thought. He's the big guy, you know, mm -hmm. but he's got that this rubber. See, I personally liked Gung Ho more. as and the I, big guy. Yeah, as the as the he was my preferred big guy. But I mean, back in the day, like mm -hmm. of course he was my preferred big guy. I'm trying to think. I I, like, liked, I really like vest. I really liked. Oh, you like the vest. Mm -hmm. So if this if this vest was an open vest, maybe you would have bought into it. Maybe. Uh, let's talk about his gun. Go check out his gun. I know. I'm looking at this. This is no. This it's is a, a it's no. an absolute no. Yeah, this is a no. I think but, it's okay. I I think the I think I I think uh I think I'm gonna stay firm on my uh, my gun feeling. Like I think that they should have come with authentic or more authentic guns. Well, yeah, because it doesn't add up. Like this thing is barely recognizable as a gun. Yeah, and that's like is, very recognizable. Yeah, this right? is like. Yeah, I'll just be gone. So what if they would have just taken it an extra step? Like, would it... Do you think... I mean, clearly... Like, you mean make them black? No, like, make them real guns. Like, yeah. do you think that that really would... All right, obviously, without getting political, like, the, my guess is that they, they're doing this is because they don't think parents will buy real guns. I get it. But, like, does does a real gun and this have... Is that going to What's swing? the difference? Yeah, what's the difference? Yeah, I mean, like, I don't think a parent that wouldn't buy a real... Replica gun, yeah. would no. I agree. That's not real. There's no way. There's no way. Yeah, and it's like, so hmm. so is that not the reason? Maybe it's royalties. Do you have to pay gun royalties? No idea. So for that's a good question. Like, hmm. if you make like a real Uzi, do you have to pay royalties, or is there or or is there a way to where like offset it just enough where you don't have to do that? That's a good question. I mean, maybe that's why they... Maybe it's something that's changed That would something. be insane if you had to pay royalties to guns. I couldn't imagine, guns. because it's like a lot of the... Like... That would be insane. Like, what would the... the for So, for Vintage G.I. Joe, if that was the case, like, everything was almost authentic for years. Like, that that seems like a... Why would you do that? Like, what would be the motivation? I don't know. And I, I mean, know. the whole thing is most of those guns aren't even made in the U.S. anyway. Right. So, the, so it's like you wouldn't really even matter. Right, right. Huh. Yeah. So the gun thing is an issue. I do think that they did a really nice job with the detailing. It's just like... like That's a ray gun. Yeah. That thing looks like it shoots a plasma bolt. It does look like it shoots a plasma bolt. And, and it is sort of... I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to say that this roadblock gun, it's okay. It's the first series. Uh, we're we're allowed to make a few little. Um, it's a learning process, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say no to the whole series because of this, but I'm gonna say let's learn a lesson Hasbro going forward. Is that hmm. fair? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit to the packaging because we didn't discuss it. Uh, did you take a look at these? I little? didn't. Let's do it. Yeah, take a look at these. Uh, what's pretty incredible is that each character has their own package art, and it's all different style. Why do you like? It's really interesting. It's like each one is a, done by a different artist. What do you think of that back picture? I like it. It's like a G one Transformers. G one Transformers. So I, I mean, we know we're gonna get Gung Ho, Red Ninjas, Alley Vipers, Trouble Bubbles, Skyhawks. Oh, but then they show like Are all they the different artists. Yeah, different artists. On yeah, the there's only one. There's only one box art. I appreciate that. The only one that I don't like that much. 
Now two of them. No, one of them. And that's Dukes. Yeah, yeah. it's just too cartoony. It's too, it's too comic booky, and mm-hmm. it's just cool. It's just that I, I get what they're trying to do with it. It's just my least favorite. Like I think the I think the Scarlet is cool. It's like almost like a, as like the Scarlet's like almost like a modern painting yeah. comic art. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite. Snake too. Eyes is also a little like I get what they're doing with it. It just didn't translate as well to some of the other ones. So, I like it. Do you think? Do you think? The box style is the way to go, or do you think that these would have translated better on, like, cards? Box. Yeah. I like those box a lot. You do? Yeah, I actually... And they could do... I mean, these are pretty throwback. Yeah, Honestly, they Honestly, like, they're really sort of art. I, I like, like the blue. I like the blue. Me too. You know? It's got the good logo. It's got art. Yeah. I sort of love them. No, they're actually, great. I really do like I'm them glad a lot. You, yeah, they're nice. Ah, this is sort of the way to do it. I, I kind of wish that they would have gone with one artist style, like sort of like the original okay. G.I. Joe, where they all like had a universal artist but, feel. Yeah, feel yeah, yeah. But I think this is fun because I, I do appreciate looking at different artist style. And even if, like I said, like the Duke isn't my preferred style, but like it's pretty cool that like they all are distinct. Yeah. Um, yeah I love the blue. almost looks like. Mm, too cleanish. You think so? I think it's most it's sharp or something. I don't it's most it. reminiscent of the original. I think. Mm. I think the Scarlet's my favorite, just because mm. it's got a little style, like a I don't know, just like a sharp. It looks line. like the most like an illustration. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. Like it's... Um, this roadblock tattoo is pretty amazing. What they can do with these, like, like uh, just the tampos or the digital is, is incredible. Got a tiger, lion, a lion, sweet. Okay. I like the roadblock more than I thought I was going to. I just, uh, I don't like the big gun, and, um... He feels the best. He does feel good, dude. He feels good. Yeah. He's, like, real solid. Yeah, and, and you could you could probably cut off that vest, and you'd have, like, a ripped chest. And you know that they did a lot of that so they can reuse that mold, and that's fine. Like, yeah, yeah they can they can make a new one and throw on a tank top or something. But, you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're going to get... We're they're gonna, gonna get, make a lot, I think. They're gonna make a lot of roadblocks. They're gonna make a lot of. They're gonna make a few dukes. They're gonna make Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, a couple uh, Sergeant s- Slaughter. Do you think they'll be able to make a Sergeant Slaughter? No idea. I think they're. I mean, they'll have to pay royalties, but I think that maybe they'll eventually get to one. Yeah. Um. We 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 haven't talked about Snake Eyes yet. Are you ready? Let's do it, man. All right. So the Snake Eyes is is more of an all black. So this. And the big question is 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 it better? Um, then this brownish, grayish one. What do you think? I don't I think, know what I think. I think the black is better, 100%. Yeah, me too. No doubt. Me too. No doubt. Uh, yeah. I'm not saying that this is bad, but, like, this is Snake Eyes. Yeah, that's just, like... Look at all the, like, in hand, you can't really photograph it well. At least I can't photograph it well. But look at the, like, there's, there's gloss black, and then there's dull black all throughout. Yeah, and I mean on the same it piece looks of like plastic, like they painted it. Yeah, it's great. Like that. It's yeah, great. It's sweet. Um, the red line on his head. Yeah, that's kind of good. I don't like it, man. Even in person. I think it ruins it. I, I'm over it because I have to be. But Head it, swap. We'll do, I will do it. And I have an opinion about the head swap, too. So, But look at that closely and like take it in. Um, if they come out with a release without the little red notch... I'm buying another one. Even though, yes, again, we, we, we'll we talk about my sickness. I could probably take an X-Acto and just, just scrape it off. You take that off and do something. Yeah. But, but then you would have an altered snake eye. Yes, I can't, isn't original I, can't, anymore. I can't deal with that. Yeah. Um, and then we'll, we'll hit his guns, too. Like, he, I don't like his guns. Um, Let's see his guns. Uh, they did these holes because you can, like, peg them all in. But... What is this? I don't, like, I don't like it that much. I don't hate it either. Like, I'm not losing sleep over the gun. This isn't a good gun. No, not even close. I think it's cool that you can clip it in on the side, though. Like, but, you know, make it really close. This one's see. not terrible. It's just take the hole out. Like, that hole. Yeah, like... Whoa! Where are you going? On the floor, in the carpet, in the yeah. shack. Like, it's not a terrible gun. Yeah, I just, like... Like, just give him a holster so it doesn't have to peg in it. Like... Yeah. I, I prefer the Uzi, but... Man, yeah, this black looks so much sharper. Yeah, I don't... I'm glad that they released the good one, like, for general Me release. Too. And this is like Me the... too. That's a good choice. So, this red marking on his head, like, clearly there's, like, a red 
theme from like yeah i just don't understand it and i'm just happy i don't get it i'm not i'm not i'm not losing sleep over it but i think it ruins uh perhaps a top five all-time snake eyes because of it so does the weapons i think the, like again like as a whole package i gotta include the weapons yeah. but the black way you prefer now the visor a lot of people have been saying that they prefer the silver visor to the black gloss visor i did the head switch and See, I'll, I, i'll tell you which one i prefer we got there This is uncomfortable silence. I know. Okay, Let's there's that one. I thought I was gonna. Oh wow! You like it better? Oh yeah. Really? Isn't this like version two sort of? Yeah. yeah this is this like... one. Yeah. I, I I actually think I like the black visor better after doing it. I'll look at it again. Even though. with the black, even with the red on it. Yeah, I think I think so. I think I like the all black. I think it's just. I, I think, don't know. This is. Sweet. I'll take a look at it again. I think the visor uh, being gray, like, I don't silver. Is it? I I think it would have been better if it would have been like a. Dark, I think you need sharp... to get into customizing figures. Maybe, man. maybe I will. I've been thinking about it. Get a few more. I mean, you can't do it with the only. So you really you like that that on that body that silver visor? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just curious. Like, I I almost think it stands out. It makes the visor stand out too much because. Everything else is black. Hmm. I, I want to look at it again a few though, but um, man, I know it's just it gets rid of it doesn't like stand out worse than the red thing on top of no, it. No, the red it. thing is awful, man. I'm telling you. But like with that said, like I think the black visor looks great. The, the it gloss, does. Can I can I see that one again? Let me just see. Oh, actually, I don't know. That does look. What? I think it's just enough contrast because it's not uh, all over his body. It's just a. Vi I mean, I like them both. Yeah, I think that maybe if they would have made that silver visor a shade darker. Hmm. No, I think I like the black better, man. I like the black better without the red. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm With saying. The red. It's sort of like. I, I I think I might chip out the red. I think you should. I, I think you definitely, definitely should. You haven't even checked out Duke, man. Duke's the man. I did check All Duke right. out. I'll check him out more. Check him out more. He's like the most boring one, though. I love it. Like, I'm Army But he's the Duke. most G.I. Joe. He's got a cool backpack. Um, That's uh, another thing I'll say uh, is that, like, I hope going forward they include a lot more backpacks because I think the backpack is an important part to G.I. Joe. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love the backpack. I can't believe my Duke didn't come with a gun. You'll get one. Can I complain about something else that really bummed me out? Complain. So, tell me if I'm nuts. All right, so I think I got to buy another Snake Eyes, too. Which Why? Is, so his knife that goes in the pocket, or yeah. the thing, this it won't go in all the way. So I stuck a screwdriver to try to sort of oh, dig no. it out. Yeah, that was okay. Oh, no. And uh, it still can't get it in. So oh, I don't know. No. I don't know. Is that too much? No, I mean, it's got to be right. Yeah. Man, I feel like I'm exposing like my my super high maintenance aspect of myself. I think we all knew that. Though. Yeah, I think you're right too. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. More yeah. weapons though. A couple more. Like again, I think for the this is a first assortment. It's like it's like if this is if this is a sneak peek at what is to come plus more. This this GI Joe toy line is a game changer in my opinion. Yeah, it, I mean, it's nice. Beautiful. It's cool, man. Beautiful. So fun. So even if you're not a G.I. Joe fan, uh, let's talk about the aesthetic. Uh, I don't, I think all the gold, which seems to be like what they were going for is the universal G.I. Joe. I don't know that I love it, but I don't hate it. What like, do you mean all the gold? Like, y you were complaining about the shin guards. Yeah, they're not my favorite. But they're but... not as bad as, they're not as bad. Yeah, they're not as bad. They're not as bad, but this is like. I, I like that these have their own look. I like the fact that that they're they're, um, they're like a modern interpretation of of what we knew. Like and and I guess the best example is like, I guess people say that they're kind of Fortnitey. Yeah. But like, okay, think about it. If these were made in the '90s, 
they would have had that Rob Liefeld look because that was just Pockets a sign of the right. and everywhere. Yeah. It was yeah. just a sign of the times. It wasn't a bad thing, or or it might have been, but like it was very specific to that decade. Are these removable? No, I don't. I think there's a way to do it. Because it don't. feels like they're on backwards. Oh like, really? I think it looks like they're on the wrong. Way. I read look, I read man. a review on that. Someone Doesn't else it that, look like that. Yeah, but I think I read. I think it was the Foosh said the same thing, and then he took it apart and rearranged it and realized that they are correct. I don't know, but I, I think it was on the Foosh where he did it. But yeah, they kind of do look like they're on backwards. Um, but going back to my point, it's like. I, I don't think that they're Fortnite-y. I just think that aesthetic... Fortnite-y is... Yeah, I mean, that, that's how they make figures now. I like, think it's an aesthetic. And, and yeah. I think when you look back at this... Fortnite rips off everything. I mean, not well, in a bad way, but like... It does, but it also has created its own... It's it's created a modern aesthetic. And... Uh, By homaging stuff. Sure. Which sure. nothing wrong with... I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but like... They had a format and they apply it to... Yes older things yes. and that's fine there's yes. nothing wrong with it yes but i think when you i think in a decade from now when we look back at the 2020 J. joe classified they're gonna they're gonna have their own thing and i think that that's maybe we won't look back maybe it'll still be going it might be it'll but be the longest going like like i'm in your series ever i'm in for the long haul like i there's no reason there's no reason i wouldn't buy a, a figure unless it like was so limited i couldn't get it and, and without paying like hundreds of dollars i'm not gonna play that game maybe i will but um as long as they come out like release it at retail and i can get one of these for 20 bucks there's nothing i don't think i wouldn't buy they're so mm. fun and these are 20 dollars. yeah 20 to 25 i guess mm. they're really good value yeah i mean yeah these feel a step above like black and marvel legends they really do i agree I love the I love the head sculpts, man. These are so good. Um, I I will say the, these don't replace three and three fourth inch for me. Like I still do wish that they made a three and three fourth inch. Like the only way to improve these is if these were uh, three and three fourth inch for me. You would like that more. I would. That's just my preferred scale though. Plus, I think it. Well, does, does this come out? Does knife out of it? Yeah, yeah. That is that's a great big feature. Ooh, that doesn't come out easy. It, it doesn't come out easy. I'll break but... it. I'll break it. I right, break it. Then I'm not doing I'm, it. I'm already buying two. Yeah, you need another yeah, Duke, uh, another Snake Eyes to correct. I know. Yeah, this is gonna get expensive, but you know what my favorite one is? Honestly. Yeah. The woman. Really? I think Scarlet, man. She looks great. Uh, does it bother you? What, does that it bother I don't you? like. Yeah, like, I don't. Other like than that. that, I think she's awesome. So she's got a, a cumbersome shoulder pad, mm -hmm. you know, and then uh, and then why doesn't she have double jointed elbows? Yeah, I know. I was just look, looking it, at that. Is, I like as they break. You think that's? What, think oh, it, that's because they're too because they're too thin. Yeah. Oh, that's a neat. That's does a she have her crossbow? Yeah, yeah. You have to put it. It's it's okay. It's. Here, you got to put it together, and I'm not going to Oh, lie. that's unacceptable. No, no, it's not. Yeah, I mean, that's but... pretty standard. It's oh, it's yeah. probably to avoid breakage, but it does fall apart a lot. It is it is kind of annoying. Can you do it? It's like the Chewbacca bowcaster, but... but I think I got it. Oh, right. my God. I'm like a pro at this. Mm. You got the skills, man. I got the skills. Oh, but that's sweet, because you can put it in... You can lose it? Well, yeah, but you can put it in her hand before yeah, you put it together. It can be like a rifle or, or a pistol or well, whatever. It's just easier to maneuver. Man, but... Duke's backpack looks good. Duke is my favorite, man. I'm not doing that. I feel like I'm going to break it. Her hands are pretty little. Yeah, their hands don't feel great to me. Really? How so? Just nervous to put weapons in them. I don't know. Do you wish these would have come with multiple hands? Are you a fan of that? No. I'm not a fan stupid. of that either. I just wish they were like more rubbery or... I don't know. I like them. Um, I just get scared of breast and stuff. I do, I do, I do wish they were one one eighteen scale. I think three and three fourth inch uh, for me is just more uh, reasonable to collect. Like, yeah. I, I really, I really think that that like is the only thing that's keeping these from being like the most exciting thing GI Joe could do. Yeah, because do. if they were three and three quarter, they could sort of like re-release some of the older vehicles, but touch them up a yeah. little bit. Like her and Duke in a Sky Striker, how sweet would that be? Great, be? but it'll never happen. They, they this, did but... that for the last like the P Pursuit of Cobra line. It was like it was acceptable. Like those... all they'd have to do is work on some of the cockpits. 
you know and yeah. just make them so the figures could fit in a little bit better and a little tighter you know but like make the missiles for some of them like fit yeah. a little bit nicer maybe yep. they could do some slight retooling just to like you know maybe some some great weathering to the vehicles mm -hmm. but you're right do you think though do you think that yeah it's like that's the thing gi joe unfortunately can never be what it was in the 80s i mean it was just it was just the 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 but it was the also the, oh, i'm sorry it, it was like the epitome of i don't of uh what's the word when you overdo it um what's the word uh Ex access yeah access? access like just the play sets man yeah like like the the like it's crazy they'll never do that again ever they'll never make a terror they'll never make a uss flag yeah or a never. terror dome or what's the rocket ship that was awesome the defiant the defiant never. like they'll never do toys like that no. ever again and it if, was like and it was they, a special time it was a special time uh, it was a special time um also i mean yeah it's like it was building worlds but it's just yeah again, um now we're they're competing with like Action figures are, are, are for 42-year-old for men. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. Like, they're making these for, for you and I. They're not really making these for kids. It, I, I will be interested to see if, like, kids collected these because if even if you don't know the characters, seeing these on the shelf, they're pretty amazing. Like, mm -hmm. if you see Snake Eyes on the shelf and you're a kid, there's just no way you're going to look at that and be like, oh, that's that not cool. That isn't cool, that's yeah. Cool. Right. It's a black Deadpool. Right, right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, same thing with Destro. Like, he's got a silver head. I mean, I, I do, I do, I am kind of hard on Destro on this. Yeah, you're giving him a. Yeah, you're not giving him any love. I, I do love him. I just, I wonder, I wonder if it's just because I'm more of a Joe guy. Like, could be. And I mean, he, he needs the Baroness with him. Like, oh, really I can't wait for Baroness. Do you, so, do you think the Destro? Well, you said Scarlet was your favorite, but like, where would you put Destro? Up she, there. I like them all. I like them all a lot. It's just I think the Scarlet really is just. There's a lot of personality. A lot. Yeah, of yeah. I mean, I I, lo I love them all. I think they're all great. It's just like, you know, it's like I'm I'm not used to having like just a cool like female character that's like full featured. Yeah, and, like yeah, it does yeah. everything. She comes with a ton of weapons. I mean, they did her as good. They not they hardly ever do the girls as well as they do like you know. You you don't, don't think know. so? I'm trying to think like of uh. I think lately it's changed a lot. I think they do. I'm or just the think... character isn't as cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I mean, she could throw down with any of the GI yeah, Joes. Yeah. I think I like, sweet. I like the outfit a lot. Yeah. Right? I think they did a really good job of, uh, cause I mean, I don't know. What is, what is she wearing here? Like, is this, uh, what, what is it? Is it, is it spandex or is it like, what was she wearing in that That was original? a good question. I don't, I don't really, I didn't have the original Scarlet. Did you? My brother did. Okay. I mean, she had a lot of, like... She, oh, she... this isn't even, like, Swivel Arm Battle Grant. Oh, yeah. No, that's, like, this is first real, series. Real, wow. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had a better condition one, but... I like Scarlet. I just didn't know what, like... I I don't know. I think, uh... Actually, Scarlet was pretty awesome. I, I, I'm gonna be honest. Um, there was, like, Scarlet... There was two storylines. Like, Scarlet was either Duke's Duke's girl or, or Snake Eyes' girl. Which one yeah. did you uh, prefer? I think it's... Started off. How did it start off? In the cartoon, yeah. it was yeah. it was always Dukes, I think, and then in the comic book, I think it was like a whole love triangle. But I don't. Really I, care. Always, I, I always. I don't really care. Actually, I, I do. I always put uh, Scarlet and Duke together. Hmm. Scarlet and Duke, because because Snake Eyes was a loner. Yeah. Um, Scarlet and Duke, and then Flint and Lady J, and uh, Lady J was was definitely the most kick ass. Yeah, she was badass yeah, too. She, she was she super took bad. No shit. Yeah, I hope they get. I hope they do her right. She has to. I want her to look a little bit like in the cartoon. Mm -hmm. I like her hair a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this Destro's great. Uh, it is. I like his gun actually. It looks like, looks like uh the original Tomax and Zamo gun. Oh, do you remember those? Oh, the, the not so much the guns, but I did remember. they come out with them as a two pack? I would. Yeah, yeah, they have to, yeah, right? they have to. Yeah. I'd be bummed if you had to buy them twice. Twice? Well, what if they did it? It'd be kind of fun if, like, they put them in the case assortment and one was a chase, but yeah. it would piss people off. Would they both be in the same outfit? Yes. Or would they do one in the suit, mm -hmm. in, in the business suit, and one in the uh, whatever their outfit the, the, is? Uh, look, the suit is cool. I love but, the business suit. You do? Yes. It's cool, but, like, if you have an option... To get an action figure of a dude in a suit or a guy in a blue and red like 
both. Really? I want both. I'm not saying I would. You put... could do head swap them. One of them, and then you could head swap. They have the same body, right? No, because they were opposites. Oh, so the one guy's collar. Yeah, yeah, he had like yeah. a shoulder. I'm, I'm all for the original to Tomax and Zane. What was their company? Oh, that's a good question. Wait, wasn't it part of? It wasn't. They had like their own company. You're right. Like, they, they were, were like... rich. They're like they're like the twins from the Social Network. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, I'm going with uh, I'm going with the fantasy outfits for them. Mm. But uh, but with that said, like if they come out with a suit uh, suits form, I'm gonna buy them. Like I said, I'm in. I'm all in. Just... Based on the uh, on the package art, I, I'm pretty sure they're doing the the. The, hey, let's see. Yeah. So we'll get a Cobra Commander. Cobra Commander. We gotta fix that aesthetic a little bit. Here. What's the the gung ho? Looks like he's got the open chest. They can just yeah. use Roadblock's chest. Yeah. Oh god, they probably will. That's yeah. why they did it. Removable hat or no? What do you think? Don't care. Really? As long as he looks good, it, I, I'd say not removable. But he's bald, so I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, I sort of like him without the hat. I like the, I, I really, like, one of the, the appealing things to me of G.I. Joe was the removable everything. Like, I like, like, I remember they did a Duke back in, like, they did, like, a Duke in, like, the 90s, and it was, a, it was like a Desert Storm Duke, and it was a good figure, but he didn't have a removable helmet, and I always thought that was a bummer. Like, the characters without removable helmets, it looked wrong. Like, I like the removable All options. Right. They're showing a lot of but, vehicles in like, this picture. Yeah. But I think that's just a fleshed out. You know they're not doing a bridge layer and like they're not doing a mauler. I don't know though, maybe. I mean, like there's a who's That's a lot of vehicles. That's a lot of vehicles for stuff that they're not gonna make. What's up um, with the like I like the red ninjas, but like what's up with them coming before the the like and same thing with like are those alley vipers up there? Yeah, because they have oh, the, the shield. Red ninja. I didn't even see that. Yeah, the red ninjas are next assortment. Spoiler. Um, but what are they why are they coming out before um, straight up Vipers or something? Do you th oh, I know why. I bet you any money mm -hmm. because it's the Snake Eyes movie is probably yeah. going to have Red Ninjas. Probably. I'm curious. So the next assortment. Gung-Ho. Yeah. Baroness. Nope. Cobra Commander. Yep. No Baroness? Not in the next assortment, no. But, I mean, she might be, like, shortly after. I mean, time out. that time Baroness out. looks beautiful. She's got. She some... always does. I, yeah. love, I love Baroness. Well... Uh, where was she from? Russia? She was Russian? No. Or did she have just like a, a Euro German. Eastern European? Like she she was uh Ger she was it was close to Germany. What was it? The Baroness. I mean, it, was, it uh, just sounded like Slavic or like some Eastern European. Like, like uh, I don't know, but I don't. I wonder. Like, I didn't read the comic book very much. But do you, did they write that? I'm sure they did. I didn't read it either. You know what's missing on these? No file cards. Yeah, what's up with that? Where are they? They're not. I think file cards is a big part of the collecting G.I. Joe. Like, I cut the file cards out. Could you imagine if they made them, like, just fit in here so you didn't have to cut anything open? Oh, that How would be... sweet would that uh, be? It would be sweet and, and more appropriate for a collector, but, like, there was something fun about collecting cutting them, cutting out. them out. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think that right down here they could have made a file card. I think that would have added to the... wonder why they didn't. Cost? I mean, cost cutting. Like 10 cents to write it? I mean, like... I don't know. I think it's just you gotta... a printing card. Wait, look at all that stuff they got. Yeah. I think the thing about the G.I. Joe file cards, and I believe they were written by Larry Hama, is they were really thought out. Yeah. Like, they were so yep. thought out, and, like... Yeah, and it was, like, a few... It was, like, a good couple paragraphs. Like, oh, yeah. It was a good there was, read, There know? was, like, two two yep. thick sections, yep. and then there was, like, the, the grade, which E5, yep. E6, and that's how I learned about, like, it and was... It, Yep. No, it was real. It was great. It made them real, too. It made the figures, like, feel real. And how fun was it to find characters that were in, like, your hometown? Or, like, near your hometown? Mm -hmm. Like, I remember Stalker was Detroit, Michigan. Shockwave was Dearborn, Michigan. What about Rock and Roll? Uh, he was in Louisiana, or he was, oh, like... Right. No, oh, no, 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 no. I'm thinking of Road, Roadblock was, like, Cajun or something. Where was Rock and Roll? Oh, California. He was, yeah, like, yeah, he was California. Yeah, California. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind a, mal, uh, a rock and roll with like his bright yellow beard. Um, yeah, man, I, file cards were, were a big part of this. Yeah. It's, uh, so, these obviously come highly recommended, like, no doubt. Like, even yeah, if you're not these. a G.I. Joe fan, like, if you're an action figure collector, like, you gotta at least get one. I think they're kind of addictive, too. Get the snake eyes, like... 
So is that the one you say to get? I say so because he fits in with your Marvel yeah. Legends and all that. Yeah. He's sort of like. Hey. Yeah, he fits in with like. If He's you're... the Boba Fett of G.I. Joe. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's a cool like thing. That Speaking of knows. Boba Fett, what do you thought of that Hot Toys Boba Fett uh, uh, action figure? I think that is awesome. I, I love it. Yeah, like I like if it too. I, if, if I were into like throwing three hundred dollars, it it uh, it at a toy. Yeah, well, at a doll. I would, yeah, yeah. I get it, but I mean that would be oh the pack everything about yeah. that thing is cool. I, that's one of those things where like, it's gonna be a home run, and yeah. you come out with Boba Fett in a uh, vintage Kenner style. Like I'm gonna. It's buy always it. gonna be better. Yeah, that, that's always what people want. Do you think it's better? I mean, I just think it's like. It's like it's how you remember it. Mm-hmm. I think it, I just think yeah, I think it's a little better. I just wow. I love it. I think he looks so good like that. You know what I'm so I I wonder if they will make this would be a really smart idea for them is in the Mandalorian show with more Mandalorian characters to actually make a Mandalorian with similar armor. It'd be awesome. It would be awesome. Yeah, yeah that'd be sweet. Mandalorian's uh, pretty good. That's great. Did I can't you, wait for more. Me too. Did you, uh, before we get into, I got to ask you a Clone Wars question, but I don't know if you saw it. I didn't see it yet. Okay. So Damn, I'm gonna I want to I'll finish it, it this All weekend. Right. Yeah, I, I heard it. it's intense. It is intense. I heard it's and intense. Like, there, uh, there, I have a lot of questions for you because I think you're a little bit more knowledgeable on like how everything fits in timeline, but I want to talk about something because there's something in it that like will lead into potential Mandalorian stuff, but I will hold off. Uh, I liked it though. Sweet. Yeah. My son, I think, I think my son is more connected to Clone Wars than any other Star Wars. Uh, that's great, right? That's awesome, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's the right age to be. Yeah. Um, what do you think about the... Uh, God, I'm going to... Uh, the, the announcement that... Ta- uh, I'm going to butcher it. Taki Wakala... I, I think yeah, I'm not into that. Oh, you're not? Not really. I but, mean, I think he's good at like doing funny stuff. And, and I don't... But he directed... I thought it was okay. But I didn't hate... Well, he no, was. no, I'm sorry. I'm cutting you off. Yeah. No, no. I mean, he he did uh, he did an episode of The Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. I think it's a great choice. I think he has the ability to um, to to give like a like a humor that Star Wars can 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 has, and then also do seriousness, like Jojo Rabbit. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. It's great. I, you know, I think they I think Sorry. they need to get the egos out of there. Like, I think they just sort of need to not use all these big name directors and just let people make it. That's what I think. I agree, but do you think that do you think someone without a big name ego can handle Star Wars? Yes, very very easy. Yes, because you get it written by the right people and just let a guy make it. I, I agree with you, but but I think that he is a proven like there's. Nothing... I don't want to see his style. I don't want to see a Taika Waititi movie. But I don't think he's too stylistic. I get what you're saying. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying, but I don't think he's. I don't think he's. I don't think he's got such a style that like identify you know what I mean? he's not like uh tim burton he yeah i know he's not he, yeah he uh, just has a certain well he did, i like his thor movie was okay but what I mean, about his episode of mandalorian did you feel that it was overly so, not his... really i mean i thought they were all pretty much on par mm-hmm. which one did he do the last one that's the thing is i don't even remember. yeah, yeah I think I mean, so. they all seemed like really close yeah there was a couple that like uh you could tell that were written or something by different people, but like overall, like they felt pretty uniform yeah, to me. Yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, it doesn't do anything for me. I guess I just hope he doesn't get carried away. Is my whole thing. I just want somebody to just make normal Star Wars movies. Yeah, I mean, no artists, no nothing, and I don't mean that. Like no, that, no, I but, get what you're saying. Like less ego and just tell a good story. What do you think that he's going to do though? Like, what, what, where are they going to put him? Are they going to put him in the past or the future? I think he'd be a great choice for going forward. They need mm-hmm. to push. They need to push forward, man. They can't just keep going back. They I don't got... even remember. You know what? To be honest, yeah, because yeah, they got to do something. They need to change it up. Because I mean, honestly, the last trilogy, like they whatever tried. you say, yeah, it just I don't give a shit. It took me. It took the world to a place that yeah, I, like they need to introduce characters that are compelling, and I'm just like, I don't know. It's weird. I'm like. It, they're not necessarily bad, but they're just like blah. They they weren't enough, is what you're saying. Yeah, they weren't enough, and it really took it just took the universe, the gal- galaxy, world, mm-hmm. yeah, and place it. I just like whatever. That's it. Okay. Yeah. But Fair that's enough. how I felt after episode eight. Really. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I really, be honest with you, I very much enjoy Rise of Skywalker, but I, I, I think overall, the whole story arc, like, other than Kylo well, Ren... I enjoyed it, but that doesn't mean it's good. Right. I think Kylo Ren was the only character that I really was like, I will forever love that character. I'm never going to see him again. No, that's, that's Sucks, a, a good dude. point. But uh, I think that they need to push forward. Yeah. I, I want to see something... I don't want them to keep going backwards. It's mm. just It's just too much. Like, I know that they're focused on doing Republic of the, you know, going a thousand years back, but it just gets too convoluted. And like, I know what, ha like I was having a conversation with my, my nine year old son and he's like, we know what happened to these people. Yeah. Like we know the end game of these people. Yeah. Like, the whole thing is it's a, but if it's a separated by a thousand years, why not just make it in the future? Right. What's the That's difference? If it's totally unrelated, go forward. I agree. I agree. Unless you want to, unless you want to learn the history of like, the... Would you make it related? Okay, so we go forward. Yeah. How far forward? Let's go, uh, that's a good question. Like, How about we go like um, 60 to 100 years, which isn't that long. No, right? because then Would you, you can't... make reference to, mm. would no. anybody still be alive? No, see, that's the thing is maybe actually, I, I take that back. Let's just go like, uh, let's go like just 10 years in the future because that does give an opportunity to throw in a couple of the characters that, that we might have known and loved. Like, why not? Like, it's 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 really great when they can take a character that maybe maybe didn't have any real real uh, stakes in the movie and they make him a good character. I'm trying to think of a good example. Like was there was there a character that they really like made super cool that you didn't really think about that you didn't get enough of? Right, maybe? right. There you go. Like maybe that. Zori Bliss. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Perfect. Like I would love to see something like that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows. Who knows? But I, you know, we might not even get any movies for the, or, or any television or any media. Yeah, it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while, right? Yeah. Right. It's it is gonna be a while, man. Um, I'm kind of curious about this going by the, the Snake Eyes movie though. They did announce that when when does it come out or I when was it supposed October? to come out? October. It was supposed to I come out so, in October. I think they're still targeting for that time frame. All right. Yeah. I don't I know. Hope it's gonna be good. I actually think it could be. I, I have hopes, but uh, it's based on nothing because I don't have any pictures. The only thing I'm basing it on is a conversation where the director said that it's it's very practical effects and very martial arts based. I think that sounds cool. I would hope so because I don't like digital effects in a Snake Eyes movie wouldn't like. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean... Digital the, kid? Right. <laughs> digital. Yeah, that'd be sweet. Like digital. Matrix fighting style? Wow, yeah, I don't want to see Matrix style Yeah, that style would be fighting. good. Yeah, that yeah. would not be good. No, no. Get the Wachowskis to do it. Yeah, they're... What? Are they doing Matrix 4 or no? They don't have any... Involved. I heard there's Matrix 4. Oh! Yeah. Oh, and speaking of part new parts of story, Scream 5. Do you care about Scream no, 5? No, I don't want it. It's going to be terrible. Why? Really? I think it's going to be terrible. But, like, like they're really doing that? Through her. Wasn't Scream 4 that whole, like, like try to bring it back? Like, who cares? I like Scream. I, I like don't Scream. even know. I, I don't remember the fourth one. Like, I don't remember I don't after... I, the first two I enjoyed. The third one was unwatchable. Do you think and it was unwatchable? Fourth, I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen it. I, I, I mean... It wasn't uh, as good. It was... To me, I didn't finish. I mean, I did watch it once, but I'd never watched it again. Me neither, you're right. Scream 1 was great, though. Like, yeah. that was... That was incredible. I've been on this. Uh, I went back and watched uh, Escape from New York recently. Mm. That wasn't a movie I was in love with growing up, but I just didn't connect. It with aged it. well, it, it, dude. Mm. I loved it. I watched it again, and I, I have a whole new love and respect for it. Yeah, it's a great movie. Yeah, but but I, I'm the same with you. I wasn't like overly attached to it, like say in the '90s right. or, or whatever, like when we were younger. But right. rewatching it now, I like it way more. Me too. Me too. Like I remember seeing it like I don't know whatever teenager in my twenties, mm -hmm. and I thought it was kind of a little corny, like mm -hmm. and it and I guess but like I watched it a couple nights ago, and I was like, this movie is fantastic. Yeah, did you ever watch the movie? And it wasn't really a remake of it, but it was a lot like it, and it was Neil Simon, and the, uh, the playwright. I mean, not okay, Neil Simon, what's his name? He. Oh, no, come on. He did Dog Soldiers. Who's that guy? Oh, oh, um... Neil something. Was that Richard... No, not Richard Kelly. That's... No. Donnie Neil Darko. something, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is yeah, Neil it is something. Neil, yeah, but Neil Simon, I think, is the yeah. playwright. But um, I know who you're talking about. It was like... It was a lot like Escape from New York. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it was intense. It was, like, really intense, and it was sort of gross. 
there were like cannibals in it. Right, right. What was that movie? Was I forget, it like but Death it was, Wall or something? De- oh. It had, had a Death Wall in it. It had the Doctor from Deep Space Nine as the president. Oh, okay. Sadiq Al Fadil. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna yeah. go back and watch Neil that. Marshall. Neil Marshall. Neil Marshall. Neil Simon. No, no, that's uh, that's a reasonable that's mistake. A Neil, yeah, yeah, man. that's a Neil. Neil. You got it. Neil's Speaking of Neil, whatever thing. happened to Neil Blo- Neil Blockham? I don't know. I wish he would just come back and save us all. Man. You think so? I love his movies. Yeah. Did you like? Uh, um, what was the one with the robot bunny? Not robot bunny. No, but, was uh, it a- Bugsy? No, no. I-, I wanted to like it, but I didn't. Uh, what was it called? Uh, Ch- Chappy. You know, I didn't see Chappie. I didn't like it. I heard it wasn't good. No. And but you know I just what? like District Nine. Did you? Did you, yeah, District Nine. Did you like uh, the Matt Damon one? It was okay. Yeah, it, was it wasn't okay. my favorite, but I like his. I, I'm sorry. I just thought it was like. It was good enough that like you should have kept going and make something, you, you know. Think so? Yeah, keep making movies. I think I think I like him as a visual director, yeah. but I think maybe he should get someone to help him write. Maybe I don't know though. Does that's he not... write his own stuff? I think so. I, I could be wrong. Though. I sort of like his. I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. No, I like it. I, it's I, not I would... the best writing, but I think he's been doing like I think he did this like uh, recently. Like he directed this like online short. And it was like a realistic space, uh, like short. It was like five minutes, and it was really cool looking. But I don't know what it what it to transform into or whatever. But uh, anyways, that was uh, we we diverted there. Um, GI Joe, man, I'm excited. They're back. How, how quick? How quick can they get these uh, assortments? Like they got They got to get quick enough. No, I guess, no. Right? What do you think? A few months for till we get the second assortment. Like how long do you think it'll be? Holiday. What holiday though? Like Christmas I mean, holiday, uh, maybe maybe actually that's no good. maybe it's maybe September they could get a assortment of four for I think Halloween. Yeah, get them yeah. out for Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sweet. Um, I hope they don't get derailed by the movie though, because remember that that's what happened to the Pursuit of Cobra toy line. Is the GI Joe Pursuit of Cobra toy line mm-hmm. was fairly successful? Mm-hmm. I don't know that for a fact. And then the first GI Joe movie came out, and it just like they. That was it. They just went yeah. in a different direction. Like, that movie was the opposite of what good is. It was the like, opposite of G.I. Joe. Yeah. Um, and I still sort of like it. Yeah, it was all right. I, I watched it not too long ago, and I, if I watched could, it all. If you can separate the G.I. Joe world from it, it's it's an entertaining sci-fi yeah, movie. Yeah, But once the you... The suits were terrible. The, the oh, suits yeah, yeah. The suits were really bad. Yeah. yeah. The suits were bad. But. Speaking of cool suits, did you ever watch that movie Underwater yet? No! The suits I'll watch are really it. cool. Yeah, I'll watch it. I, I, I've been meaning to, yeah. and I'm just like... The movie itself isn't great, but there's a really lot of... Like, it looks good. It all looks right. really good. It looks good enough to... to it's it all looks, that matters. It looks good enough that it's worth watching. That's all that matters. Did you watch Nighthawks? I started to, and I just wasn't in the mood for that. <laughs> it was bad. What was what brought you there? Sylvester Stallone, Billy, Billy D. Williams, Williams, and Rutger Hauer. Yeah. Like, what else do you need for a bad... Late night, late night movie. movie. I mean, that's a bad late night yeah. movie. Just all there. I mean, I'm I'm in it. I just like I wasn't in the mood. I started. I was like, I'm not. Did in the you mood see it. the part with Sly? Did you really see him? His yes. Get up in yeah, it, yeah. like those shades. Yeah, yeah. I need those. Oh man. Yeah, that's sweet. Uh, these GI Joes are are a home run. Um, Good. there are some things that can be fixed, and 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 Hasbro will learn as they go. Um, if you are an action figure fan, you gotta you gotta check out one. Uh, if I'm gonna rate them, I'm gonna go from from worst to best, and none of them are bad. I'm gonna say Roadblock, Destro, Scarlet Duke, Star- Scarlet Snake Eyes Duke. Duke is my favorite. All right. Yeah, and and I I don't know, and I'm sure most people will put De- Destro number one. He has a lot of character. I just like. Hey, I, I like the Joes, man. Why would somebody not put Snake Eyes on? Everybody's gonna put Snake oh, Eyes at one. Yeah, you're right. But and maybe Destro's a new, the best uh, out of this. Assortment. Yeah, the reason why is because I think that people had had a lot of Snake Eyes already. But he's the most accurate. To yeah, his G1 yeah. Sword. I mean, you gotta give him that. Look, I don't want accurate, man. I don't want 25th anniversary again. I want, I want, it's inspiration, but I want new pieces, and I like the new pieces. I really mm-hmm. do. I really do. So, uh, you got anything else? No, nah, man. All right. I uh, love them. Until next time. Nerd, Nerd out. out. That was a one-hander. Oh, yeah. It's the real deal in there. Oh, man. <laughs>